All right, good morning, guys. So, as you already know, my name is James, or you may better know me as the Pop from my blog. So today, I got an oil base review for you guys, courtesy of Mr. Pomade at Pomade.com. Thanks to him, I'll be able to talk to you guys and show you guys Taylor or Old Bond Street hair wax for gentlemen. And so, for simplicity reasons, we'll just go ahead and simplify the name to Taylor Hair Wax, just so I can like talk about it more quickly. And so. I've been trying this for the past few days and I've actually been pretty impressed with it. You guys might be more familiar with the brand with their, um, their shaving soaps. However, they just released this hair wax and so I felt the need to show you guys this. We'll go ahead and look at the jar now. Alright, so as you guys can see, this is Taylor of Old Bond Street Hair Wax for Gentlemen. You have branding on the front, then on the reverse side you have sizing along with ingredients and directions. As you guys can read, this comes in your standard 3.5 fluid ounces or 100 milliliters, which is more um, commonly found across the Atlantic. So this is, it comes in your pl white plastic jar for twist top. And inside you see the pomade itself, which is a very like, clear white, off-white color. It looks really similar to black and white. And so let's go ahead and get started now. So upon opening the jar, you get like a very like lotiony coconut smell to the pomade itself. It looks and then it would definitely feel like black and white. The two products are actually really similar. But I would say that the Taylor hair wax is a little more refined. It's a little cleaner, especially the scent. So obviously I would describe it as like a light pomade. It comes out of the jar really easily and applies really easily as well. So for like the consistency, we're talking something around the like around the magnitude of royal crown, black and white, somewhere in that ballpark. Like performance is completely different. Like don't get that confused, but. Just talking about the consistency and the application right now, it's really similar to like other light pomades or hair dressings. And you'll definitely see how my hair still like moves really easily even once the pomade has been applied. So we'll go ahead and get one more lick. Oh yeah, and if you guys noticed my hair before I started the review, it looked like it had nothing in it. But actually for the past few days, I've had this product in. And so that goes to show like actually how light this product is. I mean, I'm not saying it's water-based, not at all, but like with a good shampoo, like basically almost all of it will come out. Which is really good for those of you who are really concerned with the buildup or res residue that oil-based products leave. Alright, so if I pomade in my hair, I'll go ahead and start slicking everything back now. So, as you guys can see, my comb is moving through very smoothly. It's like really silky smooth, and it's what you expect out of like a lightweight pomade. So, if everything's slicked back, we'll go ahead and start forming the part now. As a side note, I definitely noticed when I uh, used this product, my hair got really like soft. What I mean is, it's actually pretty interesting. It reminds me a lot of brow cream. Like when I use that, my hair has a really soft and like smooth texture to it, or it just feels really soft. And so, it got me thinking. This stuff's actually pretty useful, like beyond just like a pompadour, like. If you guys are styling other types of hairstyle and you need your hair to be soft, like definitely this would be useful as well. You'll know what I mean once you start using it. Alright, so with the part formed and the sides tucked away, Go ahead and start forming my pump now. All 
All right, so I think I'm about done, and we'll go ahead and look at the entire hair now. So as you guys can see, my sides are slightly puffy. However, they're nice and tucked away as much as you would expect out of a lightweight pomade. The part is hard, sharp, and straight, and the pomp itself is at about an average height with like a, a pretty good shape. My back should be pretty like nice and neat. I can feel the ends not really tucking into your ducktail, but that's kind of what happens when your hair gets pretty damn long. And I'll explain to you guys why I'm not cutting my hair um, in some other sort of post or video on my blog. But anyways, um, so you got a good amount of shine going on and everything looks pretty good. So, Taylor Hair Wax is good. I mean, definitely, if you guys like like black and white, if you like Royal Crown, this is a big upgrade for you guys. It smells better, performs slightly better, and it also has like um, a drier feel to it, which is really good because um, black and white, Royal Crown, they really start feeling like greasy on your neck at, throughout the day. So, this should solve a lot of problems and should give you a better um, um, pump for the day. Overall, definitely you guys should check this um, Taylor Hair Wax out. It's definitely worth looking at. In comparison to Home Bruce, it's kind of like a hybrid between Lockhart's Light and Grandad's Lightweight. And it's kind of like a middle ground between. And so, definitely, thank you Mr. Pomade of Pomade.com. Thanks to him, I was able to showcase you guys um, Taylor Hair Wax. And I hope you guys enjoyed the review.